Pedro, you're kind of on this uh, like legends tour, right? I mean, Frankie, you know, Aldo, Dominic, man, what's, uh, what's, what's the feel like on this run that you're on right now? Let me tell you something, it's amazing, you know, that's something that I always visual to be competing with the best fighters out there. And, you know, I'm very glad that I'm be able to do, you know, what I, what I like to do the most and fighting at top 10 fighters the last five years. So just that for itself, it shows the, the kind of like competitive, high level skills fighters. Um, we have a special event away division. And for me, you know, it's a, such a big honor to, to being a part of these fighters and now fighting number fit, former champion, the last six of fights. So it's definitely something that you know, makes me very excited and keep on working as hard as I can, as smart as I can to keep climbing the ladders, you know, up and downs, but be able to capitalize, to learn, develop new skills and, and still competing in, with the biggest, biggest organization in the world. I was going to say, at this point, I mean, you're a veteran as well. I mean, a guy that's been around for a long time and, as you said, been at a high level. But when you face these former champions, does that still excite you a little bit? Is it still something special about, hey, man, that's that guy over there on the other side of the cage? For sure. You know, for sure. Seeing guys like that that I, I've been watching them along the years and not even imagine. I can't imagine fighting them because I always, you know, have a lot of confidence in myself. So I knew I would get super close to to the best fighters out there. So, but it's definitely something really cool, you know, that I can look it back and see how, you know, my, my, my career has been taking me. Yeah. How do you evaluate Dominic right now, right? He's had like these periods of inactivity and, you know, he came back and lost, but he won. I mean, where do you think he stands at? Is he still as good as ever? Is he, is he taking a step down? What do you think? I don't think so. You know, a lot of people were saying that when he had like the huge uh, knee surgery and then he came back and did a hell of a fight with TJ Dillashaw, five rounds. I kind of like, I, I actually watched that fight live in Boston. And, you know, he's not a joke, man. He guy is always training. Um, he's always getting better, you know. We are probably kind of like the same age. So uh, don't underestimate never any of my opponents. And, and I'm, you know, the mindset that I come into the fight every single time that I know he's going to be the best version of himself, so do I. So that's, gonna, that's the reason that, you know, makes like the biggest fight. And, and that's what I like to do, you know, push the button quick so we can make an interest fight. Yeah, nice. Last thing for me, I mean, you're always in fun fights, but um, I mean, is, is the result here especially important to you? I know you've had a couple setbacks. I mean, is it important that you that you pick up a win this time around? Yeah, they res they I always looking for the win, you know, so but we're talking about like, you know, the champion leagues of, of fighters, you know, so um, I never come right here with like, oh, I'm going to just fight and that's OK if I don't win. No, that's not that's not the spirit. That's not the mindset. My mindset is always to come and bring the W. You know, even though sometimes I couldn't not be able to do it, but I always looking forward to finishing my fights. You know, if I don't need, even like to, to go to the judges, you know, have some bad experience in the past, fights that I thought that I clearly won, stats shows that won, so I, I don't trust. So I go for the kill always. Pedro right here. Uh, I think after your last fight, you had mentioned possibly moving down to flyweight. Is that still something you're considering after, like even if you win this fight? Um, that's something that I thought about it. I'm not certain, you know, 100% sure that's going to be the right move. I definitely, um, I thought about it. You know, that was the conversation that I had with Aldo right after the fight. And, you know, the media was, you know, putting out there. That, you know, I thought about it. Uh, as I was thinking about it, I got the offer to fight Dominique. So bent away, that's the, the bent away, that's the vision that I always fought. And it is not an easy weight cut. It's something that I have to work, like, on my diet, you know, the weight cut process and stuff like that. So I don't know. Let's see. I'm very focused for this fight. You know, bent away. that's the division that I always felt great of fighting. And we see. Dominic was in here a few hours ago, and he labeled you a power puncher and a knockout artist lately. So looking at Dominic, how would you label his skill set entering this? 
Definitely a unique style, excellent footwork in and out, um, good wrestling skills, well-rounded fighter, good cardio, and very strategic, smart. Hey, Peter, back here. <clears throat> so, like you said, Dominic, he's got a kind of a weird style. It's pretty hard to replicate. replicate. How have you gone about... How have you gone about sort of uh, replicating that style in training? How have you sort of used your training partners? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, we have a couple of the guys in the gym that they are really good in copying people and try to mimic and try to, to look like. Also fought, also trained with a lot of good wrestlers, you know, good grapplers, guys that have a full work and an outside, not exactly uh, his style, but we kind of like, kind of break down his style and we watch some of the videos and see what would work, you know, good on my end for this fight. And we capitalize and all that. And I'm going to be able to display and try to stop Dominic on Saturday night. And what did you think of his fight against uh, Casey Kenny and uh, the result overall? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. He was moving. Casey was missing a lot of the punches. Dominique was able to outpoint him on the outside. Uh, he was, I felt he was the guy that was more active in the fight. So it was, you know, um, I never un underestimated him. I knew he's a hell of a fighter. And I came over here in the best version of myself. And obviously you and Josie Aldo, you shared something very special. You had a great fight and clearly you have a good relationship. Now he's had a great performance again against Rob Font, and it's looking like he's close to the title again. What do you think of Josie Aldo's future in the bantamweight? Oh yeah, he's a definitely very strong, powerful fighter. You know, he was able to 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 get like a good timing, I guess, making the bantamweight. And last fight, I felt him super strong, and some of the fights that I watched before, especially in bantamweight, he didn't make the same mistakes. You know, he was able to move really good. And, you know, I thought it was a very good fight. I was able to clean good shots. Um, I think for the fact he was the bigger guy, he was able to absorb a little better. But I was able to, to land some clean shots right on his face. And, you know, when the, you know that was adds off to him to, and his team to, to be able to put a guy which he was the best featherweight of all times at Bantaway and feel as big, as strong, as powerful as, as he used to be um, back in those days at featherweight. Thank you. Pedro, bem rápido aqui em português. Você já lutou com Edgar, com Aldo, com Cody Grabant e agora com Dominic Cruz. Qual é importante lutar contra esses campeões para o seu legado? Com certeza. Uh, para mim é uma honra muito grande poder estar fazendo parte na, da, da organização dos, dos, dos melhores top 10 da categoria nos últimos cinco anos. E por esse motivo eu vim uh, lutando com grandes, grandes atletas da divisão nas últimas seis lutas, cinco ex-campeões mundiais. E isso faz parte do meu trabalho, isso faz, faz parte do, de algo que eu sempre visualizei e almejei. E tá entre ali entre os melhores e os melhores têm que lutar contra os melhores. Sobre o Dominic Cruz em específico, duas, dois pontos rápidos. Um, é onde você vê possíveis falhas nele no jogo dele que você pode aproveitar. E dois, é o, o desafio que é ter alguém para emular o jogo dele que é tão característico. Sim. Uh... Qual que foi a primeira pergunta? Onde você vê falhas no jogo dele. É, não vejo muitas falhas no jogo dele. Sim, eu vejo assim algumas alguns espaços que a gente pode otimizar isso ao nosso favor. Não vejo falha em si, por ser um atleta de, de nível tão alto tecnicamente. Então, acredito que vai ser vai ser nos detalhes. Sobre emular o jogo dele. Ou alguém para emular o jogo dele nos treinos. <risos> Nós temos grandes atletas na América Top Team, né, com, com, com um ótimo história, histórico no wrestling, no grappling. Há lutadores que lutam lutam na, na distância longa e são rápidos, então nós tivemos a oportunidade de, 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 de fazer um mix de todos esses jogos, estudar a, 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 taticamente e técnica as lutas do Dominique, e eu tenho certeza que sábado vai ser, vai ser, vai ser um show. Último então, 
É, a gente viu um vídeo do UFC que depois da luta, você conversando com o Aldo, você mencionou que iria descer de peso. E agora você vai você permanece no 61. Como foi? Você pensou de fato? Você já pensava antes da luta? Você ainda continua pensando nisso? É possível que a gente veja na divisão de baixo? Eu achei bem interessante o fato do Aldo uh, ser um grande lutador na categoria pena e ter sucesso na decência para o peso, peso galo. Isso me deu uma, 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 uma possibilidade, ali no momento ali de... de provavelmente fazer um trabalho assim no futuro, foi uma ideia que eu tive ali no momento. Logo depois dessa luta, o UFC me ofereceu o Dominique Cruz, algumas, depois de algumas semanas, eu sempre lutei na categoria galo, categoria lá foi, foi foi sempre minha categoria, desde quando eu iniciei, vão ser minha 28ª luta, sábado, na categoria galo. Então, o que eu posso dizer agora é que eu estou focado para essa luta de sábado, e depois dessa luta, aí eu, eu paro para pensar e vejo quais são os próximos passos para o futuro.